students we are going to learn about subtraction subtraction means take away we subtract a smaller number from a bigger you know we always subtract a smaller number from bigger let's take an example look at this example subtract 28 from 48 here 48 is bigger than 28 then we will write 48 at the top and 28 at the bottom and the difference will be 20. Children, do you know the terms used to for the numbers in subtraction? The number from which a number is subtracted is called minuend. The number that is subtracted is called subtrahend. And the answer we get after subtraction is called difference. Dear students, before do subtraction, we should know the properties of subtraction. Properties of subtraction. The first property of subtraction, that is subtracting 0. When we subtract 0 from any number, the answer is the number itself. Example, 248 minus 0 is equal to 248, the number itself. That means whenever we will subtract 0 from any number, the answer is the number itself. The second property of subtraction that is subtracting a number from itself. When we subtract a number from itself, the difference is 0. Let's take the number 16. If we subtract 16 from 16, that is, if we subtract 16 from itself, we get the answer 0. This shows, if we subtract a number from itself, the difference is 0. Third property of subtraction, that is, subtracting 1. When we subtract 1 from a number, the difference is the predecessor of that number. One example here, we are subtracting here 1 from 432. So the answer is 431. That is the predecessor of 432. Here, predecessor means the number that comes just before the given number. Dear students, there are certain rules or ways to subtract the numbers. For subtracting the numbers, we need to arrange them in column according to their place value. The ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and so on. And then only we are able to subtract ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousands separately. Here one example to understand this. Over here the five digit numbers have taken as you can see here, we have placed the number in columns, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. The number here is 86785, that is 86785. This number becomes the minuend. Yes, the minuend is always the greater number. Now, 43,562 needs to be subtracted. So, 43,562, this become subtrahend. And we need to find out the difference, right? So, we are going to subtract it easily. As you can clearly see, the numbers are arranged properly and we can easily subtract them. So, we start with ones column, ones subtracted ones. So, 5 ones and 2 ones and we get 3 ones. Then we come to the tens, 8 tens and 6 tens. We are subtracting getting 2. Then we come to the hundreds columns and do the subtraction to get 2. And in thousand column we subtract 3 from 6 and get 3. And then we move to 10 thousands. 8 minus 4 is 4. So we get the difference as 43,223.